This next app I'm going to show you is one called Audio Boom. It was formerly known as Audio Boom, been around for quite a few years. It allows you to make um, three minute, well it used to allow you to make three minute podcasts, it now allows you ten minutes of free podcasting time to make multiple podcasts. But it also um, allows you to find podcasts and subscribe to them. So there's lots of different things out there, Edu uh, education, health, um, sport, etc. So there's lots of things that you can use, but it's primarily good for you recording little sound bites yourself that you can then embed into other resources. Available on iOS and from the Google Play Store. So with Audio Boom, previously known as Audio Boom, you can browse various podcasts that you that uh, may be of interest to you. You've got all sorts of things, knowledge which you can drill down into news and current affairs. But its real strength lies in the ability to actually be able to record your own. Um, podcasts and you can do that by going in you can do this on on uh, your smartphone as well as your tablet it's particularly good on your smartphone and you can do this very simply by pressing this little red button here and then it, you have 10 free minutes to record so if I just hit the record button it's now recording what I'm saying so I'm just talking to the uh, device if I hit pause I can resume I can also hit play and hear what I've said if I just turn that up we'll get to hear this again uh, device so there you go. It's now recording what I'm saying, so I'm just talking to the uh, device. I can then hit publish if I'm happy with that. I get the option to put in a title, uh, then a description and tags. Tags, you, you, you start off with a hashtag, so if my description was about public health and social media, then uh, the tags would be public health, social media, web, uh, health, etc. I can add a photograph if I so wish. I can use one that I've found via Creative Commons or one of my own. I can then choose a category to go into. So you've got various categories. So we have knowledge, um, mind, body and soul, uh, various things like that if you so wish to use. But a lot would actually end up in, in knowledge. And then you can also add your own location if you so wish. Uh, it's fairly quick to publish. You can then take the podcast and embed them into your own web pages, your own teaching materials. Uh, so they're a great way to kind of convey a piece of information to your students or about your research. Uh, and you can build a large collection of, of little short podcasts in a very, very short time. Uh, and people can follow you. They can download the podcast if you so if you so wish. They can add them as favourites. You can create playlists. There's a lot of diversity to, to this tool. So it's, it's a good one to use.